приветствую вас. Это новая версия формата «Правда или выдумка». Вместо профессий наши участники поделятся интересными фактами о своей стране и попробуют угадать, какие из них правдивы, а какие нет. Hi, my name is Steph. I live in Australia on the Gold Coast. I basically grew up playing a lot of sport and things like that, so super into fitness and keeping healthy. I also love spending time on social media and basically creating content for everyone. My name is Max. Uh, I'm from Moscow. I'm not like a, quite a traditional Moscow, uh, but still, uh, I'm from Moscow. I'm uh, 20 four years old. Uh, I work as a journalist and I'm also like quite into social media and sports. Uh, and now like uh, all of us in the world, I'm sitting on self-isolation <laughs> and uh, you know like uh, waiting for something fun to happen. That's why what, what I expect of this. Правда или выдумка? International. Два участников из разных частей мира будут делиться интересными и необычными фактами о своей стране. Задача собеседника — угадать, какие из фактов правда, а какие — вымысел. Well, the first question that I have for you is... First Australian police was formed out of most well-behaved criminals. Is that true or false? Uh, I think it's true. I think it's quite true. Uh, as I know, okay. this is true. Yes, that's true. They were sentenced to jail. Time criminals were sent to the majority of British colonies on Australia's territory, so that they had to work with what they have. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw a couple of documentaries about this, uh, and it's incredible, guys. What, what the way you have, uh, you have uh, gone from, you know, uh, the colony for criminals to like one of the mm. uh, most uh, beautiful and uh, the most developed countries in the world. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I suppose. Basically, everyone was technically a criminal to begin with, so we've done we've done pretty well. Uh, so <laughs> no. I think it's my turn. Uh, so true or false? Russia holds the first place uh, for an amount of alcohol consumed by one person. Oh, that's actually a really tough question because I reckon Australia would nearly be up there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I don't know whether to say true or false to that. Um, I'll go with true. Oh my god. No, no, it's not true. It's uh, oh a common mistake to think that, oh my god, mm -hmm. there's so much vodka in Russia and bears and uh, yeah. something like that. Uh, you yeah, see that but, in movies, uh, so you just think so, right? <laughs> basically, uh, basically, Russia is not the first in that category. Uh, the uh, first. Uh, the first country is uh, Litva and Russia is uh, only the 16th according to oh, World wow. Health Organization. There you go. So, yeah. Wow. So, the next question that I have for you is, there are kangaroos enlisted in the army. Is that true or false? I think it's false. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Although yeah. kangaroos are smart and strong, they are not as good as dogs. <laughs> Can you pet a kangaroo? Can you make it domestic? Uh, I don't know. I, oh, I yeah. I don't think it's they possible. Are, like... Oh, uh, like, they they actually respond quite well, you know, um, out in the bush, obviously, they're more pests than anything, but, um, yeah, like, they're, they're pretty tame, but then again, though, if you wouldn't want to get in a fight with them, they, they box pretty hard. I definitely <laughs> so, don't want to, you know, I definitely don't yeah, want to get in no. a fight. <laughs> I actually recommend YouTubing, um, kangaroos okay. boxing in Australia, it is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn, uh, breathing. Uh, breathing above a pot uh, of boiled potatoes uh, is a traditional uh, way in Russia to fight a cold. I have no idea. Um, I'll go with true. Yeah, it's actually true. I don't know wow. if it's effective or not, uh, <laughs> but... Have you ever you tried know, it? In, yeah, I, I tried it because uh, when I was a child, my grandma mm -hmm. always uh, told me to do that when uh, I got cold. Did it work? Did it get rid of the, the cold? I don't know if, if it was because of the pot of, with boiled potatoes, really. Yeah, there okay, you go. So. Cool, okay. So, my next question for you is, Australia has its own ski resort. Ski resort? Uh, I think it's... Uh, let me guess, let me guess, this is not true. Ah, uh, 
think again, it's actually true. Oh. So uh. even some actually say that Australian Alps have more snow than the ones in Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, I should have guessed because you guys, you have so much territory, <laughs> uh, so much yeah. space out there. Uh, next question. Uh, a USSR spaceman uh, landed on the moon three years after US and uh, put a Soviet flag, flag out there. Yeah, I think that's, is that true? Uh, no, no, unfortunately oh, wow. no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Soviet. Soviet astronauts have never been on the moon. I thought Russians would have been there by now, for sure. No, no, there was the first uh, man in space uh, who was Russian. Uh, yeah, yeah and, okay, uh, that's... Yuri Gagarin, but, uh, <laughs> it's Okay, cool. Next question. Yeah, your um, turn. Okay, so, if you eat kangaroo meat, you can get a fine or even go to jail. Is that true or false? I think it's true. I think it's true. Ah, uh, nah, that's not true. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, sure. we actually sure. we actually <laughs> eat kangaroo meat. Yeah, it's um, it's it's not as common to to mm -hmm. eat um, like like a steak or something like that. But um, it, it's quite a traditional dish, and you can actually even find it in restaurants. To be honest, it's worth trying though. That's for sure. I don't know if I could try that in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> if you come to Australia, oh. you can try it. <laughs> no, I don't know uh, when the next time we would be able to travel. Well, I really that's miss true. That. Yeah, yeah. The next question. Is it true or false that British royal family are the close relatives of the Russian royal family? Oh, wow. Okay. I wouldn't have a clue about that. Um... I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to say false. It's true. Uh, Is it's it true, true that oh. they are correct. <laughs> they are. Uh, because yeah, in fact that uh, Prince Philip, uh, Queen Elizabeth's husband, uh, he's a grand nephew of uh, the last Russian Tsar, Nicholas II. Sorry, the next question that I have is, for the first 25 years of Australia as a country, its official currency was rum. Is that true or false? Rum? Like alcohol? Yeah, like the liquor, rum. Uh, I think it would be false. Well, funnily enough, it actually was true. So it oh, became really? in... Yeah, fully. <laughs> they, um, I'm yeah, pretty jealous. But um, anyways, it began in the 1790s. The government didn't have resources to produce coins, but they had plenty of rum, the access to which was controlled by the British. Good times to live in. Good times to yeah, live in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. You know, in Russia, everyone is... Uh, every uh, every male is ought to serve in the army. And after serving in the army, it's traditional for a soldier uh, to take his own AK-47 uh, home with him. Is it true or false? I'm going to say false. Yeah, you, you're correct. Because, yeah, you know... Yeah. Uh, we have gun control. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought so. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, it's, it's false, uh, but we have uh, lessons in school uh, when we are ought to, I don't know how to say it, to construct, you know, uh, AK-47. Uh, so we literally have those lessons uh, with AK-47 yeah, wow. in school. That's really uh, cool. And it's not even a high school, it's like middle school. Yeah, funny. It wow, is, that's, it that's is. That's pretty cool though. Yeah, definitely cool. The next question I have for you is, Australia is the 10th largest country in the world. Is that true or false? I think it's higher. I think it's like fifth or sixth. Oh, so I, I'll go with false. You're actually true. It's Australia is the oh. sixth largest country okay. by size. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it is, so fun fact here, it is 2.9 million square meter, square, square miles. Uh, for me, it's Russian, you know, the citizen of, yeah. the, of the first biggest country yeah. in the world. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like not so, so not so like, wow, oh my God. But, but you know, you look quite big on the map. <laughs> Yeah, well, so, like, considering we're an island, though, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, we're not joined to anything else. It's it's quite impressive, really. Which is yeah, uh, so the next question. 
uh, in Russia, a proper response uh, for a good luck phrase is like, go to hell. Is it true or false? I don't really know much about like the uh, the culture over there in that in that sense. So um, I'll go with I'll go with false. Uh, and you wouldn't be correct because it's true. Wow. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. But I suppose and... there, like there is no such thing as luck, chance, or coincidence. So I suppose like yeah, it kind of makes sense though because yeah, you can't. Yeah. 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 Sure. <laughs> it's 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 like that. Uh, we're like tough people, uh, you know, in yeah. Russia. So, <laughs> so yeah, there is a common phrase in, in Russia. I I don't know how to translate it, uh, but in Russian it sounds like ni uh, ni and the response for that uh, phrase is like k uh, and in English k is go to hell. Wow. There you go. Yeah. That's pretty intense, guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. my next question for you is um, a lot of camels in Saudi Arabia are, are transported from Australia. Is that true or false? I think it's true. I think it's true because you guys have more camels than Saudi Arabia. That's the fact I know yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, so. And there's actually more camels than koala bears. So. But you know, koala bears are much more cute, so... Uh, they are really for cute. Me, for yeah. me, for me. Yeah, and By it's such way, a guys, shame, like, so many yeah. that died with the bushfires, but yeah, they'll yeah. be fine. Uh, yeah. that's, that's like, really, uh, I'm very sorry for you guys, and it was quite devastating. By the way, uh, are you okay? Were, were you, was you okay during all those yeah, wildfires? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm. Uh, I live uh, like on along the beach side, so mm -hmm. yeah, it was pretty pretty fine. But um, we had a lot more um, land that was burnt than the fire that happened in the in the Amazon. So you mm -hmm. know, it was it was quite significant. But I mean, like when you drive around Australia and things like that now, well, obviously not now, but you know, um, maybe like two or three months ago, like the regeneration already that's happening is just it's actually beautiful. You know, like it's really? it's stunning. Yeah. So um, I think. I you're next. Oh, okay. I just did sure. the one about the camels. Sure. Yeah. Uh, in Russian, uh, that is a uh, you can put an empty bottle uh, during dinner or something like that or during party. You can put an empty bottle on the table because it brings bad luck. Is it true or false? Um, I think that's false. And it's true. It's true. It's oh actually my gosh. true. It, yeah, it's, uh, it's like from the from the question uh, before, I was thinking, oh, it must be false then. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've done so bad. <laughs> it's ca it comes from the 19th century soldiers. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, from um, yeah, when the Russian soldiers were in Paris, uh, they uh, realized that European bars and restaurants uh, they mm -hmm. charge you for the amount of bottles that that are on the table. So wow. they were like, wow. fuck that, we, we're taking those bottles under the table, so we wouldn't yeah. pay. And for that, the tr no, this tradition stuck with us, with all the Russian people. The next question is, in Australia's history, there was a war with emus. I think yeah. that's, that would be true. I think that would be true. Yes, that actually is true. Yeah, Sorry. I um, got it. Yeah. Yeah, in the first half of the 1930s, emus damaged the wheat crops all over the country. So, uh, so the army launched a hunting campaign. In the papers, the event was called the <laughs> Emu War. <laughs> My God, yeah, that was, that was <laughs> that's crazy. Sense. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. My question, and it's like the last question. Uh, mm -hmm. And Russians have a unique beverage. Uh, it is birch juice, a juice from a tree birch. Mm, I'll go with true. And you would be right, because it, it yeah. is true. Uh, it's it's not quite common to see a birch juice, but it's mm -hmm. definitely all over the place because birches in Russia are all over the place. I even is it nice? Made that, uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, it's uh, like like a pure water, but a little bit sweetier. Uh, I would I would like yeah I would describe it like that. So so yeah, mm -hmm. it's nice. nice. It's nice. Поздравляю! В этом выпуске победил Макс. Oh, I let my brother down. <laughs> Стеф, хотели бы вы посетить Россию? И что бы вы сделали первым делом? 
Mm, I think I would definitely go to Moscow first. Um, and yeah, it's such a big country, so it's it's hard to to kind of really know what what I'd do and where I'd go. But I'm um, I'm open for suggestions if anyone wants to send me anything um, on where the hotspots are in Russia. I'd love to. I'd definitely love to know that. I mean, the locals know better than you know better than anyone else. So yeah, definitely let me know where where the best places are to go. Max, хотели бы вы посетить Австралию? Uh, first of all, I would really love to get you the tour uh, if you would go to Russia. Uh, oh, and, thanks! Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, you're always welcome. Uh, and uh, I would definitely like to go to Australia, despite those huge spiders that you have, because I'm like, <laughs> really afraid of spiders. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you live with that. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's quite an interesting country to visit. Попробуйте взять в руку паука, если окажетесь в Австралии. No, bro. No, never. Never. <laughs> never. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> no one would no, recommend no, it, you know, no, in the right no, mind. No. But uh, I definitely am going to have to try some of that juice, though, for sure. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. It was nice to meet you instead, Absolutely. even virtually. Nice to meet you too, oh, literally. <laughs> yeah, no, awesome. Thanks, guys. I had Thank such you. an incredible time. Thanks for having me. We'll talk soon.